Hello guys, today's uh, September 15th. Reading this here from Times of Israel. It's marking four years since the Abraham Accords. F.M. Kotz says Israel's committed to expanding the circle of peace. On the fourth anniversary of the Abraham Accords between Israel, the UAE, and Bahrain, Foreign Minister Israel Katz says the country is committed to expanding the circle of peace with other countries in the region. Today we mark four years since the Abraham Accords, historic agreements that express a shared destiny that changed the Middle East for the better politically and security. He says the normalization agreements made peace in the region a reality, shattered a historical illusion that peace and prosperity in the region are only possible under certain conditions, and proved that a shared vision and cooperation are the ways forward for a better future in the region. Despite the challenges, says Koss, Israel will always be committed to continuing to work with its partners in the region in the hope of realizing the values of the Abraham Accords and expanding the circle of peace with other countries in the, re in the region. Now, we, as we know, back in September of 2020, Trump went over to Israel. They did the Abraham Accords with uh, Netanyahu. Of course, Netanyahu and Trump are pretty much buddy-buddy. They're both Zionist. And we know actually who's going to make peace once we, the church, are gone. It's going to be the Antichrist. He's waiting in the wings. He is ready to go. He's just waiting for us to leave. He cannot do anything until we, until we leave because God has has control of everything right so he's not going to be able to do what he wants to do until we are removed this is also about uh u.s uk concern russia may be assisting iran with nuclear weapons program concern grows after a lead shipment of ballistic missiles delivered to russia for against use against ukraine tehran dismisses impact of western sanctions calling them a failed tool the U.S. and U.K. are concerned that Russia has been helping Iran develop its nuclear weapons program in exchange for the recent delivery of ballistic missiles. It was provided for Tehran for use in its war against Ukraine, according to a report Saturday that cited similar, similar force, uh, sources familiar with the matter. The issue of de deepening ties between Russia and Iran was a matter of concern during meetings between U.S. President Joe Biden and U.K. Minister Kara Stamar in Washington, D.C. on Friday, as well as during talks between U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and U.K. Foreign Secretary David Lammy earlier in the week. Citing British sources familiar with the high skill level talks last week, the news outlet reported that the two countries believe Iran may be working with experienced Russian specialists to streamline its manufacturing process as it grows its stockpile of enriched uranium and uranium and prepares to make its own nuclear weapons. Iran has pursued nuclear enrichment just below weapons grade level ever since the collapse of the 2015 nuclear deal with world powers, following the U.S. unilateral withdrawal from the court in 2018. So we know Russia's really upset right now because uh, you can just tell by the way um, Vladimir Putin's talking that, that he's getting he's getting irritated. He's he's don't like what he's seeing with all these countries and U.S. He's 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 very very ill and he's not playing around. So this is serious business because we know that Russia, Iran, and even Turkey's ready to do something. That they're all wanting to surround Israel. I mean Russia, uh, they're uh, Iran, all of them. It's, it's all Bible prophecy that's coming to pass. So this stuff is really coming to a front because we don't have much time. We're fixing to get out of here. And there's just so much news. I mean, there's also, this was published back in, I believe it was June of, la of this year. This is talking about the major fault line off the West Coast. It says, major fault line off the West Coast could trigger catastrophic nine magnitude earthquake. Now, they've already had earthquakes, minor earthquakes, every day. Uh, they had one, I think, in Malibu a couple of days ago. So, their, their seismic activity happening, the, the shit is shifting. 
the, the ground on there, I mean, the plates are moving. All this stuff is moving. God said the world will be shaking. Not only earthquakes, but tsunamis. All this stuff is, is taking place. And this is all signs from, from God that, that this time is getting close. It's not to be in fear of anything. It just means that we're fixing to leave, that we're fixing to get out of here. Thank the Lord. So, uh, let's see what else we got here. Under, underground, underwater fault line of the, along the U.S. West Coast could trigger a mega quake that could be more devastating than California's big one, a new study suggests. Using underwater mapping techniques, scientists have mapped the Cascadia subduction zone, a 600-mile fault line extending from southern Canada to northern California in never-before-seen detail. It is revealed the fault line splits into four seg segments instead of being one continuous strip like most fault lines. The discovery could prove more catastrophic because the tectonic plates can slide under each other, creating more pressure and more severe earthquakes. So we know Israel's had, I mean, uh, excuse me, California's had earthquakes for, for some time, just very small ones, and, and there's been earthquakes all around the world. And there's earthquakes every day. They're just not on the high, high ends of the Richter scale. But all this stuff is coming to pass because we're fixing to get out of here. That's the solid as to it. Our, you know, as you, you, you and I as Christians know this, that, our welcome is is no longer here. We're guests in this world. We're we we're no longer really welcome here. It's just like when you go to a motel room or a hotel, or whatever, and you check in, right? Well, you have a time to check out <clears throat> because they say, okay, checkout time is what ten o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever, and <clears throat> you've got to get out out before so the next guest can come in, right? And you got to check out and all that. And, so it's like that 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 our, our welcome is, is is pretty much gone. You know we're we're getting criticized every day. I mean what what's what's good now is bad and what's bad is good. I mean you can see it in the news, uh, and it's just um, we're not welcome here now, and that's all part of what what the the big picture is about Bible prophecy that we will be raptured. We're fixing to get out of here, and it's it's going to be close, and it's it's not going to be pretty for those left behind because things are bad now, but the tribulation, the great tribulation, is much more intense. And not only that, um, you have not only God's wrath coming down, but you have all of Satan's things because he's going to be turned loose to do what he wants to do. He can't really do what he really wants to do right now because God's restraining what he's. He's got his hand on it. But the Antichrist is waiting. The Antichrist is waiting to come on the scene. He's already here. He's already... He's just he's just ill because he wants this stuff to come on and, and take place. And these elections, you know, I guess everybody watched the debate the other night. That was just one big circus. That's all distractions. Because at the end of the day, they're that's all political theater. They're all up there for show. And basically, and really, realistically, they're all on the same team because they want to bring America down. That's the real goal because they want to bring the economy down so much that it collapses so they can go to the new currency. They can go to, go to the new world order. This is all by design, of course. So I know so many people say, well, we got 10 or 15 years. They've been saying Jesus is coming for 2,000 years. Yes, but not all the things that are happening in the world are happening simultaneously together in intensity. Yes, we've had things happen before, but nothing like this. Everything is coming together. It's all coming as one like God predicted it would. So, this is not me saying this. This is the Bible. I mean, go to go to God's Word. Go, go to Jesus. Say, hey, reveal these things to me. He will. He will reveal. He revealed a lot of things to me. Praise God, because back in 2009, He revealed things to me where I was really at in my life. I wasn't living for God. I wasn't doing things. And I, and I could have died easily, but God gave me another chance. So I said, God, if you give me another chance, I'm going to do what you want me to do. I'm going to, I'm going to live for you the best I can. Now, all of our sins are covered by the cross. Um, you know, we were saved by the blood of Jesus and he saved me. 
far as physically and, and spiritually. So I, I give him all the glory and praise for that. <clears throat> so after that happened, I, I really changed my perspective on uh, life and eternity. And I wanted to learn more about what really the end times are all about. It's not a time of uh, depression and, 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 and sadness because this means that we're going home. This means, you know, if, if God doesn't take us before the rapture, of course, if we die before the rapture, but it just means that things, this is a time of being excited because we're going home to see Jesus finally. So, and two, about the political thing, back in 2020, we all know what happened. The world just fell into the little trap. That was a beta test, basically, to see who would go along with what their, was, their agenda was, and... I really feel like that, that this is my personal opinion that if they did that in 2020 and so many people went along with it, that, that, that it's like a, bo a boxing match. Uh, when you have somebody up against the ropes, you're not going to like say, hey, okay, you know, you, you're going to knock them out, right? You, you, you've got them up against the ropes. You, you're going to go ahead and finish the, finish the fight. You're going to knock them out, go for the knockout kill, right? You're not going to say, okay, I'm going to come to the middle of the ring. I'm going to let you take a breather and then we're going to go at it again. No, I don't believe that because <clears throat> they got us so far on the ropes in this country and the world economy. I'm talking about food, inflation, gas. Now, notice gas has come down, right? Because it's just, it's getting election time. So they're going to bring the gas prices down somewhat to kind of give everybody, oh, we're, we're, we're changing things. Well, why don't you change things your, uh, during this administration? You didn't. You're just now trying to change things too. But it's all, it's all. This is all fiasco. It's all a show. And I used to get into that stuff. is like believing all this stuff. About Trump and, and all that. But if you really know the really roots of Trump. And you really know who these people really are. They just tell you what they want to tell you on the media. Because they want to put your blinders on. And, and not let you see the real deal. What's happening behind the scenes. I uh, can't say too much more about that. But. <clears throat> you could really look into it yourself and see what I mean because and some of you guys on here know what I mean because you've done your research on it you looked into stuff and you know things don't seem right when things sound too good to be true they usually are right you know you get these emails like oh you know do this and you get all these benefits and stuff some of it's legit but some of it's most of it's spam and false stuff so the main thing is we need to tell them as many people about Jesus as we can right now because time is running out. I really believe that the rapture could be any day now, especially right before the elections. I think, I think, and I think like talking about the boxing deal, having someone up against the ropes, I think they're going to finish this off, basically America, because they, they've gone too far to destroy America now. Why would they back off and, and let America come back? And, like I said, all these people are on the same team. They're all sitting around at a table at the end of the day laughing, laughing as they decept, deceive so many people. They're, they're deceiving people. And they're making people have false hope. But the, the real true hope that we have to have is in Jesus Christ. It's not these politicians. It's not, it's not this world economy and, you know, having all this stuff, gold and, you know, this, this stuff is not going to be existent because they're fixing to reset the system. The great reset is fixing to happen. The currency is going to be reset. The religion is going to be reset. <clears throat> the whole economy is going to be reset. This, the bombs are about to go off. There's going to be nuclear war. God said he destroyed it by water the first time in Noah's day. He's going to destroy it by fire in, in, in the final, final days. And... This stuff's getting ready to happen. The river Euphrates is, is uh, pr almost dry. We know what that ha happens. That that comes in, in near the end of the tribulation. Where everybody, all the countries come against Israel. And of course, we, the bride, come along with Jesus and we fight in the battle of Armageddon. That's later down the line. But the Antichrist is just waiting. He's waiting to come on the scene. He's, he's going to get his time. God's limited time that he's going to give him. And, you know, back in 2020, for example, people, 
you know, would say, oh, he's not wearing his mask. Oh, he's not. Oh, look at him. Look at him. P people turned on people. That was that was a thing, and and and, the, and a lot of and a lot of people were like, oh, you gotta wear your mask. You got you gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta get your shot because you're you're a threat to me and my health. But we all know now a lot of us that have have woken up have seen the writing on the wall, and it's not just on the wall. It's in the book, the, the book of God, the Bible. And this was all deception. It was all just to get people to follow along, see how many follow along with it. But now a lot of people have woken up to it, and that's a good thing. But <clears throat> and going back to the to the war, there, there's going to be nuclear weapons happen because they're, they're, each country's threatening one another. They're, they're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send missiles over here and blow you up. Well, it won't be a total lot annihilation because. There's got to be people left on the world to have the tribulation because God's not going to let everybody just die. I mean, there's, there's, there's still going to be people left, but if the bombs don't get you, the fallout will get you. If the fallout doesn't get you, food shortage is going to get you. Water's going to, I mean, all this stuff's going to happen, shortages and all, but there's going to be one guy that comes on the scene. He's going to have an answer to everything. But, it, but you know what? If you just take my mark, I'll give you food. I'll give you housing. I'll give you free this, free that. What did they do back in 2020? They offered you free stuff. Oh, we'll give you a free sandwich. Just come take our shot. We'll give you a free shot, uh, free sandwich. We'll give you all this stuff for free. <laughs> People jumped on a lot of that stuff, and that was just smoking mirrors. Just all smoking mirrors. At the end of the day, and some people might say I'm crazy. They might be laughing at me, but I don't care because. I know what's going to happen because the book tells me so. It's not my own personal opinion. You know, I have my opinions on things. We all have opinions. But it's the book, the Bible. It doesn't lie. It tells the truth. It's, it's God's living word. And that's, that's what's important right now is getting many people on that ark as we can because time is running out. That, that door is about to close, folks. And it's about to close. And once it closes... There's no saying, oh, I wish I'd got on the boat. Now I'm stuck out here and I'm I'm stuck in the tribulation. And it's going to be tough. Because you think people turned on people in 2020. When the, when the tribulation, when people are fighting for food, water, and supplies, and shelter. And the, and the sun is like scorching their skin. I mean, you notice in these last few, last few summers how hot intensity it's got. It's going to be a lot worse than that, folks. The, the sun is going to be, God's going to shorten the days so that man survives, but the sun is so intense, so much coming down that, that all this stuff is going to increase in intensity. So, the main thing right now is tell as many people about Jesus as you can because time's running out. Um, we don't have much time before the rapture happens, and it could be any day now, any second. And it's going to hit so sudden, just like that, people are going to be caught off guard. So they're so worried about things in the world, and they've got their world, the distractions. They're focused on this over here. They're focused on this over here, and they're not really focused on Jesus. <laughs> what Jesus is trying to tell them and tell the world that, hey, I'm coming back. And, and God's had enough of this. He is tired of being mocked. God will not be mocked. These people that that do all this stuff and defy God, God does not play around with that. God will not be mocked. And look, I'm I'm no I'm no saint. I'm not perfect. God God knows I'm not. I've got my issues to deal with and I've got to answer to God one day. Just like everybody. Everybody's got to answer to God at the end of end of, end of in this life and eternity. We've got to answer to God for what we've done and not done. And, I, and I'm guilty of a lot of things. I am. I'm, I'm just just like you guys. I, I've, I've done things I'm not proud of. But I know God's forgiven me of those things. Those things are just, God forgets those things. We become a new creature in God once we you know, accept Him and, and we follow Him and trust in Him. All those things are old and we're a new, new, new creation. All these sins, all these things, we don't go out deliberately sin. I don't go out and try to just deliberately sin. It happens because we're in a fallen world. 
this world has fallen. It's not going to be renewed until Jesus sets up his new kingdom and all that. We'll have a new heaven, new earth. It'll be, it'll be a glorious time. It's going to be great, folks. I can't wait. I'm excited. And <clears throat> this world is temporary. Where we spend eternity is, is eternal. So that's what gets me excited because I know we're going home soon. And I love watching other ministries because not only that, they tell things that's going on and they know things. These these people, these watchmen out there, <clears throat> they, they see the signs. They know what's happening. And they're spreading spreading it around with people, trying to get people to, to wake up and see what's happening. So uh, I'll watch a lot of different ones. I'll leave I'll leave some links in the comments section to different to different ministries if you want to look at them because I watch them a lot and um, they're very very knowledgeable and they really they really spend a lot of time uh, focusing on finding things out and they do the research and they look look for things. And I'll, I'll leave their, their links down in the in the comments. Uh, one is Global Rapture Watchers. Chris over there does a great job. He has all the equipment and all the uh, the cameras, all that stuff. He, he stays up to date on this. So if you really get a chance, go to Global Rapture Watchers. Chris, he has uh, updates uh, probably once or twice a day or more just when he can do it. But he's really good at that. Uh, Repo Man 64 is also good. He uh, does timelines. He, he is doing to the Bible prophecy timelines and stuff. Really good, really good um, guy. I really like Repo Man 64. End Times Dreams and Visions. Bob Barber has done videos for years about stuff. And these guys go in detail about everything. Do a really great job. And uh, so... I'll leave links down there in the comments for that. But closing real quick, <clears throat> let's get let's get right with God. I mean, I'm speaking to myself too, and, and, and pray to God that that we we're right with God because the rapture is fixing to happen. We need to tell each and every one we can because time's running out, and the world's gonna be looking for answers. And once all this stuff happens and we're gone. Remember this, that if you've seen this video and we've already been raptured, there's going to be a, a person come on the scene. And he's going to give you all the promises in the world. And he's going to be the, the, the so-called savior of the world. But he's not. Don't be deceived. He's just a counterfeit. He's wanting to be like the most high. And he's going to have so many people uh, falling for his deception. Because there's going to be great deception upon the world. And it's going to be a sad time. Because this is a cakewalk. This little time we're going through right now. Is a cakewalk. And I'm not just saying that. I'm being for real. This is nothing compared to the great tribulation. As we're told in the Bible. The great tribulation. It is a very, very serious matter. And I mean that sincerely. Because this will be a time of of unbelievable suffering, death, you name it. And the grace the grace period is about to end, folks. The door on the ark is fixing to close. There's not much time left. So let's just let's just you know go to God. Let's let's pray. Ask him to lead and guide us during these last days, hours, because time's running out and there's people that need to know about Jesus. Um you know give out give out tracts or you know leave stuff in your house so like when the rapture does happen they'll have uh, some kind of um, way of knowing what's going to happen now of course when this nuclear thing does hit it's going to be an M emps and all this stuff you have to have this stuff emp protected so it won't you know short out, out everything so but you could also leave tracks notes and stuff like that and, and any kind of material food, hey, hey, you know, once once we're gone, you know, they're welcome to have my food, everything, because I'm going to leave stuff for, for, for people that's left behind. And I'm, I'm going to leave little little things that I can. Every little, every little cr crumb, you might say, of, of evidence, of, of uh, truth, we need to leave. Because 
people wouldn't need to know answers. And they're going to be looking for answers. So, I just pray that everyone that watches this video, if you if you've seen this for the first time on this channel, I pray that you come to know Jesus as your Savior before it's too late. Because that's the most important thing. There's nothing in this world worth worth more than your eternal life and, and where you're going to be forever. So, I pray that you come to know Jesus. Get ready because the rapture is fixing to happen. And uh, if I don't see you, see you in the clouds soon, we'll be back on here with another video. Until that time, God bless.